with the KX Storm Team. Hey, Tom, how's the weather? <laughs> oh, I love, I love seeing that. That's Lori Keeley and Amber uh, sent me the uh, video and just so happy to play it. And if you have a video of you, your family, whatever, people you work with, uh, email it, tschraderkxnet.com, and it really won't take long for it to get on the air. So the big story is going to be the wind over the next uh, few days. Uh, it's not going to be terribly windy early in the morning, but by the time you go to bed, you'll really notice the wind. So at this point, the National Weather Service has issued a high wind warning for eastern Montana. And at this point, it's just a high wind watch. Now, this is likely going to change into something as we get a little bit closer. Uh, and, and really, what it comes down to is timing. It's going to get windier in eastern Montana first, and then those strong winds will spread into North Dakota. So we're just a little behind. But we have one more very warm day. Might even set some record high temperatures tomorrow. Uh, there's the possibility of rain or snow tomorrow night, maybe on Thursday. And I don't think it'll be around Friday, but I can't totally rule it out. Amounts are going to be pretty light. And again, it's going to become very windy, breezy tomorrow, windy by tomorrow night, and really windy on Thursday, probably Friday as well. And we have some colder weather on the way, kind of a cool down. But even at that, the temperatures may be, at least for a couple of days, around normal, a little bit above, uh, as opposed to where we're at right now. But we're looking at Bismarck right now. Just look at that, 48 degrees, west wind at 5 miles an hour. Don't even see any snow on the ground. And this is January. Minot don't see any snow on the ground either. Uh, 41 degrees, southwest wind at 3 miles an hour. Uh, in Williston, a little bit of snow there. Uh, okay, that green's going to stop flashing, hopefully. A little bit of snow there. Uh, Dickinson, uh, 45 degrees. Southwest wind is at 9. So here are some other temperatures. And it, yeah, it's still a little colder up in the Turtle Mountains. That's normal. But even those kind of temperatures are warmer than our normal daytime highs in Minot, Williston, Dickinson, Bismarck. So uh, this is just very, very warm. And uh, the wind speed is roughly 5 to 10 miles an hour. I think it's a little bit stronger along the Mondak border uh, in the southwest. So uh, certainly not very windy. So here's our precision cast. And 7 o'clock tonight, a fair amount of cloud cover. But if you look at these white lines here, it tells us it's pretty light wind. It's out of the west. We're getting more of those, those winds. Uh, uh, from the from Montana and uh, maybe parts of Wyoming, and then by uh, midnight or so, there's the possibility of a couple of uh, snowflakes or maybe a little bit of freezing rain. The odds are really slim. This is just one forecast model, and you'll notice there aren't many shades to this, uh, so I really wouldn't expect much. And then for a little while overnight, sky may clear out, start to cl cloud up uh, in the morning again. We'll still have that westerly wind going tomorrow but not all that strong but here we go to uh tomorrow at uh, 12 noon could be some rain along the uh, Mondak border or towards Williston. But notice how it kind of fell apart quickly. And now we're talking about the possibility of freezing rain, a little bit of snow uh, by tomorrow evening. But see these yellow and orange lines? These are the sustained winds, and it's going to get even windier. So here we are tomorrow morning at 8 o'clock. It's going to be a little gusty. Not bad, but gusty. But watch what happens. Here's, here we are tomorrow night at 8 o'clock. Look at these colors here, and then check out this uh, wind legend. And then by uh, Thursday, Thursday morning, almost all of us are going to have a whole lot of wind in place. So the next 72 hours for Dickinson, uh, it is going to be windy. No getting around that. A little bit colder by uh, Friday. The 72 hour planner for uh, Williston, yes, it's going to be windy as well. Temperatures tonight, 20s and 30s. That's still very warm. Tomorrow, 30s, 40s, mid 50s across western North Dakota. And check out these uh, seven day temperatures. So even after it cools off, especially Friday, we get back into the 30s. 30s, and even in the northern part of the state, probably the low 30s, so that big batch of Arctic air at this point may stay a little bit east of us. We can enjoy these temperatures for mm. a while. Fingers crossed. Absolutely. Thanks, Tom. Next in our five.